Hello guys, let us talk about the difference between request body annotation and response body annotation which is again one more important interview question. Let's start with the definition. Request body annotation maps the HTTP body to transfer or domain object by enabling the automatic deserialization. Whereas response body annotation tells the controller that the object returned is automatically serialized into JSON and passed back into the HTTP response object. In short, request body is a data sent by the client to your API, whereas response body is the data your API sends to the client. Let's see some differences between them so that you can understand the concept more easily. So the request body is applicable for incoming request data, whereas response body is applicable for outgoing response data. The examples are post, put, patch methods. The response body annotation useful for get methods. The deserialized object is passed as a method parameter in request body, whereas a serialized object is passed as a method parameter in response body. In request body, it is required to read JSON or XML request payloads, whereas response, it is going to write XML or JSON request payloads. Let me cover the concept with some quick example. Here I am showing some random method where you can see request body and response body annotations used here. So the request body annotation will tell that the values mapped from the model is created in your system for handling specific calls. Whereas response body will send back the request whatever generated here. This is about the differences between request body and response body annotations in Spring Boot application. Thanks for watching.